I want to go time traveling with you. It's time for the Vintage Vegas Variety Show. Welcome back to the Vintage Vegas Variety Show. My name's Jazz and Jeannie Bry, your tour guide for time travel, and if we got a night set up for you. We've been focusing on dancing, we've been focusing on singing. What we haven't focused on are some of the comedy shows and some of the other shows in town that all let you time travel. For instance, Brian Hoffman and his Red Skelton tribute. We are gonna go visit him tonight. I went and saw the show at the Westin, and it's fabulous. Furthermore, Rich Little and his wonderful Jimmy Stewart and friends at the LVH. You have to go see it. He got extended for a few more weeks, so you've got some time. Be sure and get over there. And of course, one of my all-time favorite shows in Vegas, Vegas the Show at Planet Hollywood. Oh my gosh. It's the history of Vegas in song, dance, and feathers with some of the most talented singers and dancers in all of Las Vegas. That's right, this week we're gonna go hit the shows and have a heck of a great time. Well, I am standing here at one of my Throwback Thursdays with one of the most talented men I know, Mr. Brian Hoffman, who performs in a tribute to Red Skelton at the Westin, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, two o'clock, after lunch and before your nap. <laughs> or before your nap. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your show and how you got to Vegas and all that sort of thing. Uh, covered wagon, that's how I got to Vegas. You did not yes. <laughs> okay, it was a pack mule. No. <laughs> I, I came to Vegas from Ohio. Uh, people said that uh, I look like red. I don't know where they get that. I don't understand, I don't understand it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and, and then I started researching and rehearsing the man, and eventually it all morphed into a great 2 p.m. show, um, which is now at the Westin. And I've been in Vegas for about five years now, actually seven years, but performing as Red for a little over four. And uh, it's just, a, it's a great time. Red was a fantastic man. He really was a very kind man, a very uh, gracious man, and, and loved to do comedy without four-letter words. Oh. And, and what were you doing before you were doing Red Skelton? I, I was a truck driver. I was an over-the-road truck driver. But I don't do that anymore, so I guess you could say I'm semi-retired. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrible joke. I tell you, that's a terrible joke. But now, just before we finish this, I want you to do a little bit of Heathcliff and Gertrude because they're so funny. Yes, Gertrude and Heathcliff. Two seagulls, you see. They're flying, you see, and this big jet goes whizzing by. Gertrude said, did you see how fast that bird was going? Heathcliff says, yeah, so what? You'd fly that fast, too, if your tail feathers were on fire. I love it. I love it. Well, Brian, we look forward to having you do a couple minutes up there if you get a chance. And in the meantime, if you get a chance, go see his show at the Westin, 2 o'clock, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's a wonderful show. And I promise at the end it'll be good night. May God bless. Yeah, thank you. It's beautiful. Here we go. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a long time. Since I seen you folks last, I got married. I did. I got married. It was a military wedding. Well, there was guns there, let's put it that way. <laughs> you don't know what a shotgun wedding is, don't you? It's a matter of life or death. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have this much fun. <laughs> I, uh, I met my wife through her brother. He said, would you like to meet my sister? <gasps> I said, you got a sister? He said, I got two. One's named Lassie, the other one's named Helga. I said, Lassie's the dog. He said, wait until you meet Helga. <laughs> <laughs> the other morning, she got up running after the garbage truck yelling, you like to wait for the garbage? They said, no, hop in. <laughs> She felt bad, she felt bad. I, I, I took her out and got her one of them their beauty treatments. You know, the mud pack, it looked really great for two days. Then the mud fell off. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
She's a very superstitious woman, very superstitious. Uh, she won't do housework any week that has a Friday in it. <laughs> but she loves to bake, she does, she loves to bake. For years she was baking us marble cake and we didn't know any better, so we just took it for granted. <laughs> That's how these jokes go, folks. Get on that level, we'll have a good time. <laughs> Since I've seen you both laugh, I've really been doing much of anything. I never really did do much of anything. I've been, oh, I've been showing the Boy Scouts how to tie a knot. I'm a whiz at tie a knot. Anything I see, I tie a knot in it. They made me stop milking, you know. <laughs> Do you know how long cows should be milked? No. Same as short ones. <laughs> Since I've seen you both last, I've also been raising rabbits. I did. These ain't your ordinary rabbits. These are specialty rabbits. Some of these rabbits ain't never seen the outdoors. They're in grown areas. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the way you reacted to that one, I'm glad I didn't tell you the one I was going to tell you. <laughs> it was the one about the rabbit who was going to have an operation, but he wouldn't take any anesthetic. He was an Easter bunny. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of these, I guess, are just for me. <laughs> My rabbits are smart too, boy. I tell them I shake the stick at them and I go, you mind me, you mind me, and they do. But the other day I had a couple of rabbits that wouldn't mind me at all. So I locked them up in a barn for a few days. I will never do that again. I opened that door, had more rabbits than I could shake the stick at. <laughs> The other day, a couple of coyotes chased a couple of my rabbits under a haystack, and one rabbit looks at the other and he goes, Are we going to make a run for it, or are we going to stay here and outnumber them? <laughs> Either we're going to make a run for it, you idiot, we're brothers. <laughs> I do want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your evening here at the Italian American Club, where they had great food great entertainment, and lots of fun. So, thank you for coming out. I enjoyed my time. I think good night. Good night. Ballroom Dancing to Live Bands is back in Las Vegas with Jazz and Jeannie Bry and the Speakeasy Swingers, playing big band favorites every first Thursday of the month at the very vintage Vegas Italian American Club. Winners of the 2011 Jazz Ensemble of the Year from the Consumers Entertainment Exchange, the Band of All-Stars features the legendary 90-year young Don Hill from the Trin Years on saxophone, Michael Ray Tyler on the trumpet, Bob Scan on trombone, Dick Jones on bass, Paul Testa on drums, Charlie Schaefer on the keys, and the irrepressible Jazz and Jeannie Bry on the vocals. Join them and their many special guest stars for the Swanky Supper Club Soiree and Floor Show, featuring the Steppen Kings Tap Dancers, the Encore Follies Vintage Showgirls, Paul Stubblefield, Sonny Charles from the Checkmates, and so many more. The Speakeasy Swingers are also available for private party bookings. Visit www.thespeakeasyswingers.com for more info. In the meantime, see you on the dance floor. Time traveling by seeing shows in Vegas is easy, whether it's impersonator shows or production shows. The Rat Pack has two resident companies, one at the Rio Hotel and the other currently at the LVH. It's as if Frank, Dean, and Sammy never left the building. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rat Pack is back. Love to be a lady tonight. Love to be a lady tonight. Love if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Love be a lady tonight. I'd 
love this town. 24 hours a day. Nothing but drinking, gambling, and sex. But that's mostly in Dean's hotel room. <laughs> when you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, Signore, excuse me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's Signore. And if it's the 60s and the music of the Four Seasons you'd like to relive, well, Jersey Boys has moved from the Palazzo Hotel to the Paris Hotel in Vegas. And Motown is well represented in Vegas, including the human nature from Australia at the Imperial Palace Hotel. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the ultimate celebration of the Motown sound. My guys, human nature. You know, as a songwriter, I love people singing my songs, but I really, 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 really love people who sing them great, and they sing them great. <laughs> And Rich Little's wonderful Jimmy Stewart and Friends has been extended at the LVH Hotel, which used to be the Las Vegas Hilton, in the Shimmer Cabaret from now until July 4th. He does lots of voices, and it's absolutely wonderful. Jimmy Stewart and Friends opens with a number of film clips of Rich with Jimmy. Rich Little, I, boy, they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, I... <coughs> I, the way you do me, I, I couldn't be more flattered, Rich. I, you're the best, Rich. I, 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 then we show Rich showing Harvey, the invisible rabbit, where to sit. God, come on in, Harv. Yeah, I got a place for you right down here in front. Yeah, yeah. Would, would, would you people here mind standing up for a second, letting Harvey go by here? Just, 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 you don't want to be stepped on by a rabbit. <laughs> Throughout the show, we hear a number of celebrities who knew or worked with Jimmy Stewart. This is Robert Stack. This is my Barrymore. <laughs> this is Raymond Burr. <laughs> this is Andy Rooney of 60 Minutes. <laughs> you know that Gloria used to feed her twins beans so she could find them at night. <laughs> Hello, folks. This is Jack Benny. This is Alfred Hitchcock. Well, this is John Wayne. Ronald Reagan. You know, when I think back, I would have to say back in those days that my three, my three, <laughs> I three. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Dean Martin. How the hell are you, man? <laughs> this is Paul Lynn from Hollywood Squares. <laughs> Peter Marshall said, Paul, how do you get Jimmy Stewart to stop playing his accordion? I said, simple. Put sheet music in front of him. <laughs> You know, I, I have always been a, a big fan of, uh, of Jimmy Stewart. Do you know that Jimmy has actually 
been with the same woman for over 45 years. And if his wife ever finds out about it, he's going to be in deep shit. <laughs> then Jimmy and Harvey walk up to heaven. You know, when I stand before God at the end of my life, I would hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left. And I could say to God, thank you. Thank you, I, I use everything you gave me. It's been a wonderful life. Jimmy Stewart and Friends, what other one-man show tells the life of a well-loved star along with 24 other performers telling funny jokes and stories all tied in with Jimmy Stewart? It's a laugh a minute. Whether you're 18 or 80, you'll love Jimmy Stewart and Friends. JJW Entertainment presents live from Las Vegas, Ken Levine and Jump Jive and Whale, one of Las Vegas's premier swing and dance bands, providing fantastic entertainment and great toe tapping swing music. But if it's medieval times you'd like to try and travel to, the Tournament of the Kings at the Excalibur is where you need to head. And Phantom of the Opera is in its final months at the Venetian if you want to travel back to a beautiful time. But if you'd like to travel back to the Old West in the days of vaudeville, head out to Bonnie Springs. Jubilee has been wowing the crowds with showgirls galore for over 30 years.
Don Arden's Jubilee, proving nightly there's no such thing as too many showgirls. And Vegas the show time travels the entire history of Vegas at Planet Hollywood. Well, we hope you had as much fun as we did tonight, time traveling through shows and comedy. I love Red Skelton, and I hope you do too. Brian Hoffman is an extraordinary impersonator. And Rich Little, oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but I grew up with this guy on television. And the show Jimmy Stewart and Friends is wonderful. You've got to go see it. And Vegas the show, oh my gosh, song, dance, feathers, Sean and John tap dancing, Tara Palsha doing that amazing luck be a lady. Oh my gosh, the whole show, from the Rat Pack to the to, to Sonny and Cher and Engelbert Humperdinck, they do everything in between, even Elton John, I tell you. They go from the beginnings in the 30s and 40s to the right up to today. It's an amazing show, especially if you love to time travel. Keep on jazzing, and I'll see you on the dance floor. <laughs>